Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now you might be asking, Crusader King uploading twice? Well yes, actually, today I got a very good idea and that would be, why not upload daily? For this entire week, I want to try and upload every day one video. So, this is going to be the second video, and I guess we started off on Sunday. And today I'm going to be playing the Napoleonic World mod. Hoi 4. Now, as you can see, I already made a good game with Sweden, and that's who we're gonna play. So, as expected, um, this is Napoleon and the world. Basically, it starts off when what I believe is the 1800s, and from there, it'll go all the way to, I believe, the fall of Napoleon, which is the 6th, 7th coalition. I don't know. But anyway, today I'm going to be playing as Sweden, mainly because Sweden has a focus tree. Unlike most of the other ones that makes, you know, very, very stupid sense, Sweden actually has a very nice focus tree, and that is to take our own path, revive the Svenska Stormak, Storm I believe it is, and then go down here all the way to what would be the war on Russia. Now, Sweden does not have any national spirits, unlike uh, a couple other nations like France, like Prussia and all that stuff. And the reason they mainly don't have one is just because they didn't really do much during the war, so I guess that's it. So one of the main problems, however, is that Sweden does start off as democratic, which is a little bit of an issue because in this game, despite us going to take our own path and this giving us fascist support, we can't actually go fascist. Something in this fucking game decided, you know, you, you can't go fascist just because because I said so. So we, we're sadly going to stay democratic. But even with that limitation, we can actually do a lot of stuff. Now, one of the problems with this mod as well is that it is horribly just... It's kind of in beta mode, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, some stuff just doesn't make sense, like the weekly war support gain of a plus 50%. And... Um, uh, we have drills in 1804, but despite that, we are going to do a couple of stuff. First of all, we are going to get more advanced weaponry. Down here, uh, there's some stuff that will give us organization, soft attack, and supply usage. We're going to get this, and we are also going to research artillery, as well as start making stuff in on the game. We're going to focus a lot on our industry, mainly because our industry is what matters most. And with this, we are going to start in Ensvesk Diger. So we're going to take our own path and as well as get a silent workhorse so we can also boost that up. This gives us some um, ide ideology drift defense. But one of the reasons we are going to go fascist, quote unquote, is for a couple of stuff. Number one, this. Division recovery rate plus 25, plus 20 defense and attack on 20 on core territory. As well as a 2%, as well as a daily political power gain of plus 0.5. And then we can actually demand Norway, Dan Denmark, I fuck, why the fuck are they called the Danish? Um, we can also make two demands to Russia, and from there, we can essentially build an army. So, here are our templates. We are not going to use the Kavalan Brigand and whatever the fuck it's called. We're going to use these people. And we're just going to, we're just going to try and, uh, you know, get ourselves up here. So, that's the plan. Okay, we have revived the Svenska Stromas. After the Great Northern War, our great empire had fallen into disgrace. It is time for Sweden to reclaim her glory. Oh my god, PewDiePie would be proud. Anyway, we are going to adopt the Finnish Sisu, which is what will basically give us a fuck ton of bonuses. Alright, we cracked down on the Libtards, and that, eventually, that gave us minus 20 stability. But it gave us 120 political power, so we will offset this by the call of Gustav, which will eventually just allow us to do stuff. Now, here's the thing. Before we even go to war and demand things, we are going to actually need to build up our industry. My plan here is to basically get to this. Eventually, we don't do this. Instead, we will do a couple industrial focuses so we can get, like, the 19 factories. And then eventually, we will just actually start demanding stuff. <coughs> because by then, <laughs> I assure you, we are going to be more than powerful enough to do that. Oh yeah, and also I forgot to mention, we can have nukes. I don't know why in 1800 we will have nukes, but um, we can. Uh, in my test play, Russia had nukes, 
for some fucking reason. I, I don't know why they had nukes, but they did. And just like that, the War of the uh, Second Coalition, I think, has begun. With France just wanting to invade Spain. But we can't core the territory, and just like that, this is our territory now. Uh, the Prussians are not gonna be happy with us. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that right, Frederick? Uh, Frederick looks kind of dumb. Investments in the academy, and that should be good enough. I'm gonna get some extra guns here. We can get some heavy cannons very early in game. And this... Oh boy, this shit gets good. We get plus 10 soft attack and heart attack on all our shit, so... It, it's, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. We're also gonna get, um... This guy that doesn't look like he belongs in this timeline or time period. Uh, there's a lot of time travelers in this world. I think I, I, <laughs> in Hoyt 4, there's a little too many tra time travelers. So they, they're here. And um, the war just kind of happened and it ended for some reason. But we have the coalition with Hanover. And that's about it. The German-Austrian alliance. Oh, wait, no. Wait, there's no way. Okay, unite by four. There is no way that they just did this. Oh, they did it! They did Imperial Economy! Oh, my God. Frederick, you are a dumbass. Okay, so Imperial Economy, once they go down all of that, they will become a puppet. I, I am confused. Why the fuck would... Oh, my God. All right, well, they just got stupid strong now, but um, I just... I'm I am so confused as to why they would even do it. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it up. I think the AI is just kind of stupid. <laughs> We're gonna have to start building infrastructure. Where? Oh, cool. Denmark folded. What is the? Okay, we, where's LARP land? I need you. You there? Build, my child. Okay. Well, anyway, Norway did give me all their territory, which um just made my entire army go uh go die but now we are going to threaten the homeland and hopefully they concede to our demands because if they don't they're going to have a very rude awakening and uh, i just remembered i should probably build ships in case that rude awakening does happen because they have these territories and uh, you're about to see the amount of stupidity if they fold you're going to see what happens oh okay they didn't they didn't actually submit this time okay i mean i i guess all right, this isn't gonna work. We have to cross that. So here's the plan. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly make a run for it back to my territory. We're going to basically trap them because in this game, or at least in this mod, it is very easy to have the AI be very dumb. And oh fuck, what are we fighting for, brothers? My friends, my fellow brethren, I I am telling you this now. We are fighting for something greater than ourselves. Okay. Just uh, don't worry about it. We'll we'll get there. We will be able to fight them off. This looks kind of bad. I thought they were going to submit, but it turns out that they don't, or that they refuse to. So ah uh, uh, fuck, this might be a little problem. Just go here. We'll take Hamburg. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh no! Oh wait, no. No, oh, you have got to be joking. Well, joining the coalition it is. Hi, friends. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Now I, I can't really do much because, uh... Well, I have to fight France. I think it's time. We are going to reclaim... Actually, yeah, we're going to reclaim Livonia or whatever the fuck it's called. Hopefully, they don't join the coalition or uh, the intercontinental system. But I do think that our army is big enough to hold them even if they do it. So let's just get some extra troops. We're just going to make sure, you know, we're just going to, we're just going to. And more draft dodging. Okay, I probably should have gone to all adult serve by this point. We are taking up a little bit of men, but nothing to worry about. Okay, I have a, uh, 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 I have a plan. <gasps> they did it. They handed it over. Yes. Okay, give me St. Petersburg now. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, Russia. Russia just gave me their shit. Okay. Well, Scandinavia is looking pretty thick now, isn't it? <laughs> I I don't know what to do with this anymore. Like, I actually, I guess Russia got was quaking in their boots, decided, oi, we, we can't we can't do this anymore, man. We we gotta give it to the Swedes, and now we connect the entire territory. 
Oh, and that gives us so many factories. My God. Oh my God. You know, you you don't want to know how many guns we can make now. I don't think. Yeah, I can't justify a war goal because we are still democratic despite having zero democratic values. And um, as confused as I am, it it just works, I guess. All right. Well. Uh, I did all about all I wanted, so let's try and fix this war before it gets any worse. Alright, once again, we're re and then we are re and we're redoing this, boys. We can do it. I believe in us. I don't think five troops are even enough, but we finally got a port. Okay. Alright, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. I'm going to send one full army over there. But first, I just need to regain a little bit of my stuff. And just like that, we're golden. And my friends are coming. Yes! Yes, we might actually end this war. We might actually end it. We did a little trickery here. And now I can put back my people on scouting. And I can continuously add extra people so that way we can get the naval superiority here. But we are fighting and we are seeming to win here against all odds. Oh, my my people just slightly came back. Just for a tiny bit, people came back. <laughs> oh my goodness, fine. Yes, yes, the Republic capitulated. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes. All right, come on, boys. We can make it to Paris. Make it to Paris. And oh, is Paris gonna? Is Paris gonna fall? Paris, Paris, come on, come on, Paris. You can do it. What? What? Oh my! You have got to be joking. All of that just to white. Oh my! You know what? That's it. I, I'm fucking done. Fuck this game, man. All right. Well, that that about ends it. Yeah. I'll see you guys on the flip side. The uh, computer crashed. Good night. <laughs> Bye-bye.